Do you guys talk about sex a lot on Ladylike? I would, but I feel like no one else wants to. I feel like Devin definitely would. Devin would. Kristen, Kristen maybe. Sometimes. Get a drink in her. And, and then that's probably that's it. it. Jen and Kristen played this. Yeah. Chantel and Kate played this. Yes. It's really natural that we were next. Of course. This is our Truth or Dare Jenga box. It has been discontinued, but hell, we're playing it anyways. It's ladylike. Do we still do that? <laughs> yes. And we're playing Truth, Truth or Dare, Dare Jenga. Jenga. Ooh. Oh, Wait, now shit. I hate this. She won't be. Swipe an item of clothing with someone else. I want your bow. <laughs> Give me your bow, please. You want to wear my hat and I'll take your bow? Come on, no. please. Trading one Vince flat for a... Oh, Jesus. Oh, those are cute and they match my outfit. They do. Help, help, help me. It's because you don't have socks to help it slide. I know. Oh, God, I'm going to end up kicking you, aren't I? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> what is something someone wouldn't know about the person next to you? <laughs> I don't know if people know this about you, but you're like a cocktail connoisseur. Whenever we go out, I'm like, yeah, I'll take a Bud Light. And you always get like a really fancy. Like a dark and stormy. Yeah, like something for like sexy. A like you look like you're out of, straight out of some movie Negroni. when you drink. Yeah, ooh, bitches love Negroni. <laughs> okay, ooh. You're really going for the truth, huh? I, I want to. Oh, that one looks loose. What's the best game you've played in the dark? Sex? What games do you play in the dark? Heads up, seven up. No, I think sex is good. Oh, God, I got another easy one. Go a whole minute without blinking. Oh, sh**. Don't be blown in my eyeballs. Okay. Ready? Go. Are you f***ing blinking, Fred? Yeah. You son of a bitch. What are we at? Uh, 30 seconds. You don't you fucking don't you kid? I'm doing pretty good, aren't I? You are. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> bop you right in the nose. What are we at? Uh, you've got another 15 seconds. Ooh, I'm. Oh! My fingers right up your butt crack, you cheat little hoe. Oh, this is a good one. Say something romantic to the person next to you. It me. Kelsey. Yes, darling. You, I don't know if this is romantic. I feel like this is more friendly. But you deserve all the happiness and love that comes Frederica. to you. Frederica! You do. No, I don't. You do, you deserve, you literally, you seem so happy. I am happy. And you deserve it. Stop it, I'm not crying this early. I don't like doing this one. I know. I hate this part. Watch out! <laughs> What's the worst thing your parents ever saw you do? Now this is f***ed up because y'all know I was a bad teen. Y'all know I grew up in Florida doing some dumb ass sh I will say the night I got my car on my 16th birthday, I was very fortunate my parents bought me a car. I went and picked up five of my best friends and the car only fit four people. Mm -hmm. And we all got in my little tiny convertible and smoked a lot of weed in it. And then I was so high, I went home. Can we put this story in? I feel like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was a dumb teen and I went home and I was so high I left the lights on because I didn't know how to turn the lights off. I was in the shower, you know, having a nice high shower. Everyone knows that feeling when the shower's <laughs> nice and high. And my dad came in and Okay, I pulled me out of that shower by my hair and grounded me and took away my car for a month. So I only got to drive my car for one night. How did they <laughs> know? They my wouldn't... dad went to go outside to turn off the lights in my car. Oh, and he the opened lights the... in the car? Yes. He opened my door and he said smoke was like still coming out of the car. And they were like, you ungrateful piece of sh**. It was pretty bad. Should I tell a less incriminating story? That's fine, I can like... Edit around, around it. it. Okay, okay I, I, we smoked something that was not a cigarette. You kids, you, you know what I'm talking about, kids. The devil's lettuce. <laughs> it happened. It went inside my body. Jenga. Jenga. Impersonate someone in the room. Oh, boy. You say lots of sex things. Can I say a sex thing? Sure. I want some dick! <laughs> My son, sometimes Florida. my southern comes out when I'm drunk. Ooh. Ooh. That was smooth, wasn't it? Who's a dream date for the person on your right? Why? Michael B. Jordan. Yes. Because like, duh. Yeah, like why not? I want everyone for him. Um, and because I think, oh wow, go ahead. No, show him. He might see this. Guys, let's put this in gift form and tweet <laughs> it at Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> I feel like this thing is as unstable as me. <laughs> Ooh, describe your first, 
Describe your first kiss. My first kiss was actually with a girl and it was us at a sleepover practicing to make out. And this was like when I definitely knew I was bi or at least like different from my friends because they would be like, well, uh, okay, we have to practice kissing to like get ready for boys. And I'd be like, yeah. Let's practice the game of kids for boys. I'll go first, who wants to go? I'll, I should just do, make sure we all do it with everyone, just to make sure. Oh my God, I kissed like all of my friends before I ever kissed a boy. Were those better than their first kiss with a guy? Yes, my first kiss with a guy was terrible. I remember going, oh my God, here comes the tongue. And he like, he like shoved his tongue into my mouth. It was in my friend's kitchen. Ugh, after two beers, he drove a white Mustang. Everything about it was wrong. What's the last thing you search for on your phone? Oh, this is such a fun game because I used to call Freddie out all the time. We would do the thing where we would screenshot our like search yes. histories and see whose was weirder and yours was always weirder. <laughs> Colt Antelope Oregon. Oregon. It's from the Wild Wild, Wild Wild Country on I Netflix. I just started that too. Uh -huh. What's the most embarrassing thing you've had to buy? Tons. So I was using a vibrator, like mm -hmm. maybe, you mm -hmm. know I kind of just started using them. Yes. Not just, but like, but like more recent, recently. Yeah. Literally the battery is cut out like right there. Uh -huh. But like it's like the little tiny yeah, round AAA. batteries. Oh, those even the weirder tiny ones. The watch ones. Yeah, batteries. so like they were not around the house. I had mm -hmm. to order some on Amazon, got them in the mail, was really excited. They were the wrong ones. Mm -hmm. Had to order new ones. And like literally I just have a bunch of little tiny batteries. But see, that's why Amazon and stuff like that is great because you don't ever have to have those like awkward moments yeah. at like CVS. And it shouldn't be embarrassing to buy condoms or tampons or use infection or medication. Oof. Wow. Just butter, baby, butter. What's your greatest fear? Jesus Christ, we got deep all of a sudden. E.T. really scares the shit out of me. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I had a panic attack on the ride when I was like 13 on a field trip and my dad had to drive two hours to come pick me up from Universal because I was so afraid of E.T. And now whenever I smell fog machines, I shit my pants a little. Really? Don't tell anyone. I mean, you can put it on the internet, but please don't bother me about it. <laughs> and you know when you like run and jump into your bed as a little kid, I always just imagine E.T. going like, ah, and like grabbing my little ankles. <laughs> Ooh. Rub noses with another player. He <laughs> just rubs your hat. Oh, f me. Ooh. What is your favorite battery operated toy? There is a two person vibrator where it has like a thing that you can use for one hole and a thing that you can use for somebody else's hole. And it's got little ticklers on it. And it also has like a little dick ring, cock ring. You're just gonna have to bleep a lot of this out, aren't you? It's just gonna be me explaining like all the holes it can go into. If you just bleep out Kelsey's whole yeah. thing, that would be hilarious. And it's just me going just, like this yeah. and I'm like, so you like, and it vibrates and then you can sit on the dick while that's inside of you. And so it's like vibrating from the inside and the outside. Was that like $700? It was not cheap. Yeah. But damn, it has paid for itself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 you Oh, I can already read it. And yes, mama, go <laughs> ahead. Why? Okay, that's fine. <gasps> Give the person next to you a soldier massage. A shoulder? A shoulder massage. A soldier? I wish it was a soldier a massage. A shoulder massage. Are you good at massages? I don't know. Do you ever do this to like, you know what I'm saying? No. Impress a, a certain some people when they hang out with you? No. What's taking you so long? Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, you have a knot. I do have a knot. Can you get it? It's my editing arm. How does it feel here? Not great. She gets one massage and she's like, mm, I can feel your channels are blocked. I can feel your channels. <laughs> I don't mind this. Should I do my turn while you give me a shoulder massage? Oh wait, you gotta put that up though. Do it for me. Okay. Oh, you can do that, mm-hmm. Did you see that? After dropping a piece of food, what's the longest time you've left it on the floor and then ate it? I eat in my bed a lot, which is not healthy. And sometimes I'll take like my sleeping pill and then like fall asleep with food in my bed and wake up with like food around me. And then like the next morning, sometimes I'll just like, I don't know if that counts as the floor, but it's pretty fucking gross. Is it on the sheets or is it in yeah. the container? No, it's on the sheets. I'm also that girl that like periods on her own bed and then leaves it for a year and a half before trying to like replace the sheets. <laughs> you've done that. You know you've done that. My mattress has stains on it from like when I first got my period. Pretend you're riding. Riding what? <laughs> a stallion or my summer horse? <laughs> or a dick. We're obviously talking about a dick, right? 
Oh, the frog. The frog. The frog. And it's good yes. for squats. Oh my gosh, I had a friend in college who we always practiced the frog in my dorm room. Yeah. Not on each one. other, but just like. Mm -hmm, sure. Frog. We all went to college. We know what happens. I wonder if we've done this one already. Oh. Well, that was fun. So fun. Um, did you learn anything new about mm, us? Did you? Comment below what you were the most surprised about. And we'll see you next time on Ladylike. I don't know. I'm not a lady. I don't know how to it's do fine. this. I try. I got to Can I have my shoe back? Yeah. Okay.